What's the only way to stop a front wheel skid? Let the vehicle slow down, stop turning, and stop braking so hard. What's important about the center of gravity for a load? A high center of gravity means your vehicle is more likely to tip over. Is there a requirement to show the vehicle's logbook to an officer requesting to look at it? Yes, there is an absolute requirement for that. Before putting tire chains on the vehicle, you should check to be sure that the chains have no broken hooks, crosslinks, bent or broken side chains. If you think a tire has blown out, what should you do to stop your vehicle? Hold the steering wheel firmly and don't apply the brakes until the vehicle has slowed down. What is black ice? A thin layer of ice clear enough that you can see the road beneath it, making the road appear wet. As soon as you see your trailer getting off the proper backing path, you should turn the top of the steering wheel in the direction of the drift. What should you do if your vehicle starts to hydroplane? Release the accelerator and push in the clutch. Why do empty trucks usually require greater stopping distances? Empty trucks can bounce and lock their wheels. What's the only way to stop a front wheel skid? Let the vehicle slow down, stop turning, and stop braking so hard. What's important about the center of gravity for a load? A high center of gravity means your vehicle is more likely to tip over. Is there a requirement to show the vehicle's logbook to an officer requesting to look at it? Yes, there is an absolute requirement for that. Before putting tire chains on the vehicle, you should check to be sure that the chains have no broken hooks, crosslinks, bent or broken side chains. If you think a tire has blown out, what should you do to stop your vehicle? Hold the steering wheel firmly and don't apply the brakes until the vehicle has slowed down. What is black ice? A thin layer of ice clear enough that you can see the road beneath it, making the road appear wet. As soon as you see your trailer getting off the proper backing path, you should turn the top of the steering wheel in the direction of the drift. What should you do if your vehicle starts to hydroplane? Release the accelerator and push in the clutch.
What are some steering system defects to look for? Missing nuts, bolts, cotter keys, or other parts. The amount of space needed to cross or enter traffic is affected by the weight of the load. Antifreeze is effective for hot conditions as well as cold. How many times more distance does it take to stop a vehicle when the speed is doubled? Four times as much. It takes four times more distance to stop the vehicle when the speed is doubled. What are two factors for knowing when to shift? Using engine speed and road speed. If you have to stop your vehicle in the road to load cargo or passengers, you should flash your brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Why do empty trucks usually require greater stopping distances? Empty trucks can bounce and lock their wheels. What's the only way to stop a front wheel skid? Let the vehicle slow down, stop turning, and stop braking so hard. What's important about the center of gravity for a load? A high center of gravity means your vehicle is more likely to tip over. Is there a requirement to show the vehicle's logbook to an officer requesting to look at it? Yes, there is an absolute requirement for that. Before putting tire chains on the vehicle, you should check to be sure that the chains have no broken hooks cross-links, bent or broken side chains. If you think a tire has blown out, what should you do to stop your vehicle? Hold the steering wheel firmly and don't apply the brakes until the vehicle has slowed down. What is black ice? A thin layer of ice clear enough that you can see the road beneath it, making the road appear wet. As soon as you see your trailer getting off the proper backing path, you should turn the top of the steering wheel in the direction of the drift. What should you do if your vehicle starts to hydroplane? Release the accelerator and push in the clutch. Speed limits posted at freeway off-ramps may not be safe speeds for larger vehicles or heavily loaded vehicles. With the vehicle stopped, how do you test hydraulic brakes for a leak? Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure. 
and then hold for 5 seconds. When merging with traffic, you should look in your mirrors to make sure the gap in the traffic is large enough for your vehicle to enter traffic. What are some steering system defects to look for? Missing nuts, bolts, cotter keys, or other parts. The amount of space needed to cross or enter traffic is affected by the weight of the load. Antifreeze is effective for hot conditions as well as cold. How many times more distance does it take to stop a vehicle when the speed is doubled? Four times as much. It takes four times more distance to stop the vehicle when the speed is doubled. What are two factors for knowing when to shift? Using engine speed and road speed. If you have to stop your vehicle in the road to load cargo or passengers, you should flash your brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Why do empty trucks usually require greater stopping distances? Empty trucks can bounce and lock their wheels. Turned on brake retarders apply their power when you let up all the way on the accelerator pedal. What is the minimum number of tie-downs you should have? You should have at least two tie-downs. Should you turn off brake retarders when the road is wet or covered with snow? Yes, brake retarders could cause a skid. Slight melting will make ice wet. What is more slippery? Wet ice. At dawn or dusk, or in rain or snow, when it's difficult for other drivers to see you, you should consider turning on your low beam headlights. Since air pressure increases with temperature increases, you should leave the tires alone since the air pressure will decrease when the tires cool off. Speed limits posted at freeway off ramps may not be safe speeds for larger vehicles or heavily loaded vehicles. With the vehicle stopped, how do you test hydraulic brakes for a leak? Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure, and then hold for five seconds. When merging with traffic, you should look in your mirrors to make sure the gap in the traffic is large enough for your vehicle to enter traffic. Speed limits posted at freeway off ramps may not be safe speeds for larger vehicles or heavily loaded vehicles. With the vehicle stopped, 
How do you test hydraulic brakes for a leak? Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure, and then hold for five seconds. When merging with traffic, you should look in your mirrors to make sure the gap in the traffic is large enough for your vehicle to enter traffic. What are some steering system defects to look for? Missing nuts, bolts, cotter keys, or other parts. The amount of space needed to cross or enter traffic is affected by the weight of the load. Antifreeze is effective for hot conditions as well as cold. How many times more distance does it take to stop a vehicle when the speed is doubled? Four times as much. It takes four times more distance to stop the vehicle when the speed is doubled. What are two factors for knowing when to shift? Using engine speed and road speed. If you have to stop your vehicle in the road to load cargo or passengers, you should flash your brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Before starting down a hill, to be sure that you are in the proper gear, you should downshift before starting down the hill. How does tire pressure affect hydroplaning? Hydroplaning is more likely to occur when tire pressure is low. When should you help out other drivers by signaling that it's safe to pass? Never. That's not your job. Never signal another driver to let him know that it's safe to pass. What's probably your best driving speed? Traffic is moving at 35 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. 35 miles per hour. Turned on brake retarders apply their power when you let up all the way on the accelerator pedal. What is the minimum number of tie downs you should have? You should have at least two tie downs. Should you turn off brake retarders when the road is wet or covered with snow? Yes, brake retarders could cause a skid. Slight melting will make ice wet. What is more slippery? Wet ice. At dawn or dusk, or in rain or snow, when it's difficult for other drivers to see you, you should consider turning on your low beam headlights. Since air pressure increases with temperature increases, you should leave the tires alone since the air pressure will decrease when the tires cool off.
When driving over 40 miles per hour, how much space should you keep in front of you? At least one second for 10 feet of your vehicle length, plus one second. What is a vehicle condition report? A list of problems which you have found with the vehicle. What should you do if your vehicle starts to hydroplane? Release the accelerator and push in the clutch. What can happen if you don't have enough weight on the steering axle? Underloaded front axles caused by shifting weight too far to the rear can make the steering axle weight too light to steer safely. Before starting down a hill, to be sure that you are in the proper gear, you should downshift before starting down the hill. How does tire pressure affect hydroplaning? Hydroplaning is more likely to occur when tire pressure is low. When should you help out other drivers by signaling that it's safe to pass? Never. That's not your job. Never signal another driver to let him know that it's safe to pass. What's probably your best driving speed? Traffic is moving at 35 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. 35 miles per hour. What can happen if you don't have enough weight on the steering axle? Underloaded front axles caused by shifting weight too far to the rear can make the steering axle weight too light to steer safely. Before starting down a hill, to be sure that you are in the proper gear, you should downshift before starting down the hill. How does tire pressure affect hydroplaning? Hydroplaning is more likely to occur when tire pressure is low. When should you help out other drivers by signaling that it's safe to pass? Never. That's not your job. Never signal another driver to let him know that it's safe to pass. What's probably your best driving speed? Traffic is moving at 35 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. 35 miles per hour. Turned on brake retarders apply their power when you let up all the way on the accelerator pedal. What is the minimum number of tie downs you should have? You should have at least two tie downs. Should you turn off brake retarders when the road is wet or covered with snow? Yes, brake retarders could cause a skid. Slight melting will make ice wet. 
What is more slippery? Wet ice. At dawn or dusk, or in rain or snow, when it's difficult for other drivers to see you, you should consider turning on your low beam headlights. Since air pressure increases with temperature increases, you should leave the tires alone since the air pressure will decrease when the tires cool off. Exhaust system parts shouldn't touch or rub against fuel system parts, tires, or other moving parts of the vehicle. How do you test hydraulic brakes for their stopping action? Go about 5 miles per hour and then push the brake pedal firmly. When using your turn signals, what's a good practice to follow? If you don't have self-canceling turn signals, don't forget to turn them off after using them. When traction is poor because of rain or snow, how would you increase your vehicle's speed? Very gradually. Where do you place the three reflector triangles on a divided highway? Place them all to the rear at 10 feet, 100 feet, and at 200 feet. How often should you inspect your cargo? After every break during the trip. When driving over 40 miles per hour, how much space should you keep in front of you? At least one second for 10 feet of your vehicle length, plus one second. What is a vehicle condition report? A list of problems which you have found with the vehicle. What should you do if your vehicle starts to hydroplane? Release the accelerator and push in the clutch. What can happen if you don't have enough weight on the steering axle? Underloaded front axles caused by shifting weight too far to the rear can make the steering axle weight too light to steer safely. A pre-trip inspection should be performed before each trip. When driving downhill in a vehicle equipped with automatic transmission, you should select a low range for greater engine braking. What are some things to do if you're being tailgated? Avoid quick changes of speed or direction. To be sure you know what's happening on the highway in front of you, don't focus too long on the mirrors. Exhaust system parts shouldn't 
touch or rub against fuel system parts, tires, or other moving parts of the vehicle. How do you test hydraulic brakes for their stopping action? Go about 5 miles per hour and then push the brake pedal firmly. When using your turn signals, what's well, a good practice to follow? If you don't have self-canceling turn signals, don't forget to turn them off after using them. When traction is poor because of rain or snow, how would you increase your vehicle's speed? Very gradually. Where do you place the three reflector triangles on a divided highway? Place them all to the rear at 10 feet, 100 feet, and at 200 feet. How often should you inspect your cargo? After every break during the trip. What are some things to do if you're being tailgated? Avoid quick changes of speed or direction. To be sure you know what's happening on the highway in front of you, don't focus too long on the mirrors. Exhaust system parts shouldn't touch or rub against fuel system parts, tires, or other moving parts of the vehicle. How do you test hydraulic brakes for their stopping action? Go about 5 miles per hour and then push the brake pedal firmly. When using your turn signals, what's well, a good practice to follow? If you don't have self-canceling turn signals, don't forget to turn them off after using them. When traction is poor because of rain or snow, how would you increase your vehicle's speed? Very gradually. Where do you place the three reflector triangles on a divided highway? Place them all to the rear at 10 feet, 100 feet, and at 200 feet. How often should you inspect your cargo? After every break during the trip. When driving over 40 miles per hour, how much space should you keep in front of you? At least one second for 10 feet of your vehicle length, plus one second. What is a vehicle condition report? A list of problems which you have found with the vehicle.
What should you do if your vehicle starts to hydroplane? Release the accelerator and push in the clutch. What can happen if you have too much weight on the steering axle? Too much weight on the steering axle can cause hard steering and it can damage the steering axle and tires. In turning your vehicle, you should look in your mirrors to make sure that the rear of your trailer will not hit anything. As a commercial driver, regarding your cargo, what are you responsible for? You're responsible for inspecting your cargo and knowing that it's securely tied down or covered. If the cargo contains hazardous materials, you must check to see if placards are required. What's the problem with mirrors? There are blind spots your mirrors can't show you. What's the minimum amount of tread depth your tires should have? 4 30 seconds of an inch on the front wheels and 2 30 seconds of an inch on all other wheels. A pre-trip inspection should be performed before each trip. When driving downhill in a vehicle equipped with automatic transmission, you should select a low range for greater engine braking. What are some things to do if you're being tailgated? Avoid quick changes of speed or direction. To be sure you know what's happening on the highway in front of you, don't focus too long on the mirrors. With a pressurized cooling system, you should not remove the radiator cap until the system has cooled. What's a danger when traveling alongside other vehicles? You may be trapped in your lane when you need to change lanes. How far ahead should you look while driving? You should look 12 to 15 seconds ahead. If you are turning left, which left lane should you use of the two left turn lanes? Of the two left turn lanes, use the one on the right or on the outside turn lane. What can happen if you have too much weight on the steering axle? Too much weight on the steering axle can cause hard steering and can damage the steering axle and tires. In turning your vehicle, you should look in your mirrors to make sure that the rear of your trailer will not hit anything. As a commercial driver, regarding your cargo, what are you responsible for? You're responsible for inspecting your cargo and knowing that it's securely tied down or covered.
If the cargo contains hazardous materials, you must check to see if placards are required. What's the problem with mirrors? There are blind spots your mirrors can't show you. What's the minimum amount of tread depth your tires should have? 4 30 seconds of an inch on the front wheels and 2 30 seconds of an inch on all other wheels. If you are turning left, which left lane should you use of the two left turn lanes? Of the two left turn lanes, use the one on the right or on the outside turn lane. What can happen if you have too much weight on the steering axle? Too much weight on the steering axle can cause hard steering and can damage the steering axle and tires. In turning your vehicle, you should look in your mirrors to make sure that the rear of your trailer will not hit anything. As a commercial driver, regarding your cargo, what are you responsible for? You're responsible for inspecting your cargo and knowing that it's securely tied down or covered. If the cargo contains hazardous materials, you must check to see if placards are required. What's the problem with mirrors? There are blind spots your mirrors can't show you. What's the minimum amount of tread depth your tires should have? 4 30 seconds of an inch on the front wheels and 2 30 seconds of an inch on all other wheels. A pre-trip inspection should be performed before each trip. When driving downhill in a vehicle equipped with automatic transmission, you should select a low range for greater engine braking. Downshifting requires knowing when to shift. To do this correctly, you should use either the tachometer or speedometer. While executing a quick turn, what's a good point to remember? Don't apply the brakes while turning. How do you lessen the chances of making sudden moves to avoid hazards? Watch far enough ahead so hazards can be anticipated. Roads usually become more slippery when the temperature rises to the melting point of ice. Before driving, what should you do if you start to feel drowsy? 
get some sleep. To make a tight turn with a large vehicle, you may have to drive slower than many automobile drivers might expect. With a pressurized cooling system, you should not remove the radiator cap until the system has cooled. What's a danger when traveling alongside other vehicles? You may be trapped in your lane when you need to change lanes. How far ahead should you look while driving? You should look 12 to 15 seconds ahead. If you are turning left, which left lane should you use of the two left turn lanes? Of the two left turn lanes, use the one on the right or on the outside turn lane. What should you be able to do with your vehicle when driving at night? You should be able to stop within the range of your headlights. Downshifting requires knowing when to shift. To do this correctly, you should use either the tachometer or speedometer. While executing a quick turn, what's a good point to remember? Don't apply the brakes while turning. How do you lessen the chances of making sudden moves to avoid hazards? Watch far enough ahead so hazards can be anticipated. Roads usually become more slippery when the temperature rises to the melting point of ice. Before driving, what should you do if you start to feel drowsy? Get some sleep. To make a tight turn with a large vehicle, you may have to drive slower than many automobile drivers might expect. What should you be able to do with your vehicle when driving at night? You should be able to stop within the range of your headlights. Downshifting requires knowing when to shift. To do this correctly, you should use either the tachometer or speedometer. While executing a quick turn, what's a good point to remember? Don't apply the brakes while turning. How do you lessen the chances of making sudden moves to avoid hazards? Watch far enough ahead so hazards can be anticipated. Roads usually become more slippery when the temperature rises to the melting point of ice. Before driving, what should you do if you start to feel drowsy? Get some sleep. To make a tight turn, 
with a large vehicle, you may have to drive slower than many automobile drivers might expect. With a pressurized cooling system, you should not remove the radiator cap until the system has cooled. What's a danger when traveling alongside other vehicles? You may be trapped in your lane when you need to change lanes. How far ahead should you look while driving? You should look 12 to 15 seconds ahead. 